want you to join the crusade. I've watched you. You know, I've watched you. Sometimes our people disagree with you, but mm. I mean, I understand some of your approach. I mean, mm. sometimes we take a hard bite. Mm. It helps us as politicians. Mm. Nowadays, when I listen to you, I even panic. Why? Be, hey, why do you panic? The way, the way you, uh, uh, Papa. You know, Papa. <laughs> <Fun>. <laughs> what you used to fan mm. uh, 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 charcoal. Mm. <laughs> you, right. you, you've seen it. Right. right. When you fan I, it, then I, the charcoal bright this red. Is a, uh, is then is you can fan accountability. <laughs> <laughs> you fan government's charcoal. It's, it's, bright it's, red. it's a and I, I enjoy it. No, I think literally and figuratively, he bites as hard as he can. <laughs> okay. And of course, when he puts his fangs into you, you certainly feel it. I think it pricks the conscience very quickly and sharply. Okay. So certainly a fantastic avenue for a great editorial and one that literally wakes us up. This is our society. Right. And it will take me and you to do it. That's why I always watch Johnny's Bite. <laughs> the general watches Johnny's yes, Bite. Very, every day. Thank I you very much. And I'm devoid of insults, mm -hmm. but straight to the point. Mm -hmm. Factual and fearless. What he seeks to do is to bring attention to some of the ills or some of the problems that we have mm. and um, even though it's often very spicy I was telling him mm. that he could add some ketchup on the side oh, you add some ketchup it's too hot for <laughs> you eh? too hot. I don't get surprised when people criticize you but I think you are doing a good job thank you sir and don't at all think about what people will say continue with the objective work that you are doing and definitely it will help this nation because you are not doing it for yourself. But we are, what Ghanaians cannot say is what you are saying. Hey, Charlie, no be joke. You know, be joke. people like Johnny can give you. No, no. You know, get gray hair, you go get gray hair. I'm innocent. And <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That the pressure Johnny and his people, <laughs> mm -hmm. the pressure they can give you, you know, get gray hair, you go get. So your best bet is not mm. to have hair. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Hasban Allah wa nima wakil. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum and Juma Mubarak to all our Muslim brothers and sisters. Welcome to Johnny's Bite. I want to encourage you to take your life <clears throat> a bit more serious in terms of your nutrition. And one of the things that will help you is what we call the cocoa dairy milk. It's good for lactating mothers, it's good for pregnant mothers, it's good for all kinds of people it's good for vegetarians it's approved by the fda as all the nutrients the vitamins and the minerals that you need and for inquiries you just need to call 027-444-0180 that's 027-444-0180 or simply visit the facebook page coco dairy free gh and you get to enjoy go and buy it so that we can keep bringing you johnny's bite I've seen some of you asking questions. Uh, where is Danny? Where is Danny? I should show Danny's face. I will show Danny. Uh, I'll show Danny at the appropriate time. You know, <clears throat> for people like me who get victimized and sometimes who get insulted and all of that, sometimes you don't want to keep the people who work with you and around you. You, want, you don't want to put them in that line of fire because Danny is a very, very, uh, if you like, is an, is, an, is an introvert. So we will show you, Danny, but not today, I beg you. So those who are asking for it all over social media, Twitter, everything else, what I want you to do rather today is to share. Share the link. Tell them Johnny's Bite, the People's Bite is back. And no form of intimidation will win. Because when you speak the truth and you ask questions, KKD is asking questions, he's been attacked. When you ask a public official question, and he doesn't answer the question, but rather says, oh, he used to be a thief. He used to be this, he used to be that. Then you know that they don't have an answer. 
When they have put an answer before you, you are checking whether the full scrap paper that you are supposed to write your answers on was manufactured today or yesterday or was manufactured in China or Abidjan. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Yours is, no, it's false. It's false. It's true. This is, then you provide the answers. That's how to govern. Because you asked us to be citizens, not spectators. Now we are being citizens. I think that the president now wishes that we were spectators more than we were citizens. Because the way the citizens are asking questions now, the president is beginning. But you see, at the, at the bottom of it all, I think that you are also part of the problem. Oh, yes, you, you, you are part of the problem. Because majority of the you from what majority of you from what I see under the post that we put out and under the broadcast that we make, you seem to be in agreement with the things we are saying, but you have social media pages, you come and watch, you come and like, you come and share, but you never make an opinion of your own made. You don't put it out there. And the things we talk about affects you. This week, I've st told you about the fact that the Deputy Director General of the Ghana Education Service has gotten a contract extension for the third time. He's 63. Third time. And the teachers tell me that he is the terrorist, in quote, at the Ghana Education Service. For Professor Opokwa Mankwa and the team. He is the one that if you say, Pim, I will transfer you. He is the one that says, Pim, I will penalize you. The teachers know this. The teacher unions, in fact, wrote to say, Mr. President, we don't like the man. Take him away. You say the president is a listening president. I'm sorry, it's not. The people started talking. Three teacher unions have written a press statement and have even issued a warning and a threat that if you don't move the man from that place, after some time, when he gives directives, he will tell our people not to obey. The president is watching. Minister is watching. Everybody, you say the government is a listening government. Aputo. They don't listen. How is it that somebody has served his country, has gotten contract extension one, contract extension one, contract extension one? Is that agenda one one one? Is that what was that agenda one one one? We were thinking. He's still a post. Number two, I've told you how the Comptroller General of the Ghana Immigration Service has also gotten a two-year contract extension. And I've told you how tension is brewing at the Immigration Service. And how this same particular person, I don't want to go back to the issues. But if you have ever served as a regional commander of an immigration service, and four or five commanders are going through that ordeal, the painful part they tell me is that if you had been a politician from outside who is not in a uniform, who is doing that to them, they will not have a problem. But this is one of their very own, a uniformed man who is treating them like, like that. So you're a regional commander. Then, so if you don't know the structure, district, then it comes to sector, then it comes to regional, then national. You have moved from district, sector, you're going to regional, you are, you are going towards national. Then you have moved from regional commander down to sector commander. And your genius have been promoted to regional commander. And these are regional commanders, some of them who have served for four, four regions, in four different regions. Some who have 12 years experience as regional commander. You have put in there, I said there's tension in the immigration service. And you know what that means? That has imp impact on tourism, that has impact on migration, that has impact on policing our borders. It breaks the morale of the people. The president, you say, listens, he doesn't listen. Oliver, show me the picture of the immigration service boss. I told you, two retirees. And within the Ghana Education Service, when I started talking about it, they were mentioning the director for Volta region, the director for Central region. Too many of them are retired, but they are there. And you know the painful part? People who have retired are still at post, while people who are young and have been appointed are marking time, left, right, left, right at the door. They can't find seats to work. And you say the president listens. He doesn't listen. And just when we were, no, I'll go to that. Oliver, play, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, uh, Dope Nation song for me. Play that song for me. Let me cool down. Play that song for me. Yeah. yeah. Some like this. Guess who's back, guess who's back with it? 
two yes more now cancel it the doom so cool past that acidic lie with it bring you freedoms in it of, of course well then be advanced with it social media and pr gimmicks but what these guys really do exactly they make one of taxes the rise like silly high schools know they get free shit they must lay queens where they get a v6 your, your mp for the swami what are we swami and be like said the nigga c6 <laughs> the youth there then be fed up if be the plenty grammar where they swear or see next two years yet me then you go do or die Charlie, we, we go mess up easy that's Dope Nation, and you can check them out on social media. They had very interesting perspectives about some of the issues we have spoken about. They put it in music. The president is not listening. Because in a country where you have more young people unemployed, and old people are getting contracts extensions, you ask yourself, where is our God? Look. Just when we're trying to digest this and to think or understand whether or not the president would do anything about it, there's an official from the Social Security National Insurance Trust, SNIT. Listen to it in the nomenclature. Social Security National Insurance Trust. That, uh, pull that, pull that uh, you know, uh, uh, website for me. Oliver, work with me oh, quickly. Even before we settle down on whether or not the retirees should go back and maybe become consultants so that young people can get the, the, their day. We have an official telling us that, look at, look at the ridiculous headline. Pension reform, Slate wants Ghanaians to retire 65. You chop. You start chop. You won't chop again. You have retired at 60. Now you are making a proposal that you should retire at 65. And it is only young people who are chopping now who say, oh, John Idio Casadodo. It's only young people who are chopping now who say John Idio Casadodo. Read the story. Chief Actuary at the Social Security and National Insurance Trust, Joseph Poku, has called for an increment in the statutory retirement age from 60 to 65 years to sustain contributions to the fund. He said there was an increasing benefit payouts due to number of workers retiring, adding that the increment would help SNIT accrue adequate funds as contributors stayed longer on the scheme. There is currently advancement in medicine and overall well-being, making it possible for people to live longer and stronger. The retirement age should be increased gradually to 65 years. By so doing, we can accumulate more funds which can be used to sustain... Uh, to sustainably fund uh, payments. Number one concern. Snit, where were you when the presidency and the board chair of the audit service was pushing out Mr. Domelovo? Where were you? I am asking you, where were you? Snit, you, where were you? Where were you when the presidency was writing and pushing out Domelovo and bringing out his baptismal certificate? Where were you? Where were you when Mr. Sumedu was forging his age, his date of birth? And getting contract extension, where were you? You see, I've always had concerns about you people. And I'll say it today because it's been on my chest for a long time. You see how the insurance companies send their agents to come and beg people to sign on to policies. You don't go through that stress. Yours is deduction by law. So whether you work or you don't work, you will be paid. Whether it's deducted or not, you will be paid. Whether you make sure that somebody's contract, uh, somebody's pension is worked out. And I've seen people in the banking halls. My brother works in the banking hall. I started saving in, at, at the Agricultural Development Bank when I was 16. I still keep that account. And I know people have been checking that account to think that I've been putting money into it. It's my salary account. Shame on you. Go and find some proper work and do. Me, you find that on me. Because me, I don't come and beg you for anything. When I was a child, four years, three years, I used to take sandwich, club sandwich to school made from home. They used to drive in PS5 with a flag in front of it, the motorcade. So if today you, you have come from your village and you are now chopping and you think that we are all hungry, we don't eat with both hands. Oh. We don't eat with both hands. We don't eat with both hands. We, we have eaten before. We are still eating. Honest living. Now I'm saying that back in the day, when, when these questions are being, you see, the insurance companies send people to go and solicit for a, people to sign on to their, their, their schemes. And you see how they suffer. Sometimes they come three weeks, four weeks. Oh, life policy, oh, funeral policy. Oh, this. You sleep, you don't go through that stress. When we give you the money, how do you invest the money? 
let's do an assessment of the monies that you have collected from us as rich pension contributions. And let's go and check all the investments that you have put in. Why? Right, should we start from La Palm? Or should we go to, uh, to uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 the, 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 what do you call it? The place around the National Theatre, British Council. What do you call it? World Trade Center. How have you run the places that have been given to you? And you are running them with our money. If I give you my money to invest so that in future you give me dividends, how are you managing it? Now you are saying that people are retiring too fast. Did you not know? Did we not know? Now you are telling us that at 65, we should be retiring when people are retiring at 55 in other countries. Your young people cannot find jobs. And even before we finish talking about contract extensions, you are busy telling us to extend the age of serving your nation. The young people who have not entered yet, when will they wait till somebody retires at 65 before they get in? And our Minister for Employment and Labor Relations is quite, he's waiting for the next strike so he can go and negotiate. You have to be very serious in this country. Oh. We have to be very serious in this country. Because the tears of the underground are becoming far too many. The pain of the underground are becoming far too many. And the painful part is that the government is not interested in solving the problem. Oh. The government is interested in breaking the eight. They have forgotten that the dollar has broken the eight already. It is heading towards Agenda 111. The president is launching in commissioning a national project, finishing and saying, don't vote for NDC, don't vote for NDC. He's sounding more like an opposition leader than the president who should be bringing us to the center at this time. The president should be sounding like a president. Elections are in 2024, two years and more on. He is still doing campaign when the people are in pain and suffering. Meanwhile, he came to beg us. Egana for Masremu sa opposition leader si mami Masremu na se se anya sra na Masremu anya sra na Masremu. What sra 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 we be the president? Ugu su sra ma etrima. Oliver, play the song for me. Uh, Morgan Heritage. Let God wipe away our tears. Because even the president said we should give the country to God to rule. Good morning.